The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, available in print and e-book formats on Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and sponsored by international award-winning author Mia Mohsen Zia of Missing. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on over 40 podcast platforms, as well as HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, and the TheMikeWagnerShow.com. We can be heard in over 100 countries, featuring over 1,000 well-known and amazing guests throughout the globe, and named one of the top 100 global podcasts in the New York Weekly Times, Hollywood Entertainment News, Los Angeles Weekly Times, Apple, and Chartable. So sit back and relax and enjoy another great episode of the award-winning Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Muslim Zia Missing, available on Amazon and paperback in ebook. She's back by popular demand. She's a multi-talented entertainer from Arizona, known for paranormal uh, life and talking about her amazing career in the business, along with her work in the cranial sacral uh, TMG therapist and remote view um, frequency healing. And she's also the host of a podcast YouTube show, which is um, a wonderful show, self-titled. We'll uh, talk about that and inspirational interview talk show covering a lot of topics, including the spiritual and the paranormal. Also featured in the TV series, The Dead Files and... Uh, where her and her family are tormented by demonic spirits and appeared in numerous commercials. And she was in uh, Walker, Texas Ranger, Hacks, Importance Being Earnest. And she was a morning host on KHIL AM radio, also a public speaker, discussing paranormal, dynamic attacks, and survived back to back car crashes. And plus, we'll be talking about um, a couple of her projects and some updates, including the Sacred Land Arizona series. Shadows of the Desert, and what's coming up uh, for this wonderful lady. Live, ladies and gentlemen, for Plus Studios in beautiful downtown Arizona, the multi-talented air entertainer, uh, best known for Paranormal Life, and uh, host of the Mercedes Lucky Bennett Show. And I guess we just gave it away, ladies and gentlemen. Back by popular man, Mercedes Lucky Bennett. Mercedes, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and thanks for joining us once again. Thank you so much, Mike Wagner. You're so awesome. I'm so excited to be back on. I, I Really think the- great. I think those happy demons seem to be uh, tickling me inside here. So it's like they're causing me to tickle, giggle, and just about everything else. So are we allowed to have happy demons inside or tickling demons? Or is that considered bad? I just wonder about that. Is there such thing as a happy demon or tickling demon? You know what? That's a good question. Maybe it could be just a happy joy spirit. Mm -hmm. You know? Because, you know, demons are demons. But... I think, you know, there's so many aspects to happy, joyous energies and spirits. So I'm pretty sure that that would be what you would have with you. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I, and I think that's a great idea, too. So uh, basically, we um we had you on the show last. You talked about your um career in the uh, paranormal and also uh, being in the business and also having the um being a cranial sacral TMG therapist, remote view frequency healer. And you got your own um program where we talking about your projects sacred land arizona series shadows of the desert and what's coming up but first of all just very quickly how you got started oh my gosh A how i got started da, 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 da. okay <laughs> well actually you know it's it started uh the the acting and singing was always something i wanted to do for since i was a little girl and so then i did start doing that pretty much right away learning and playing guitar and, and things like that and singing always sang in choir in Texas mm-hmm. and so then you know in my 20s that's when I started going to school and taking it seriously and went through all the schooling uh for singing and stage and all that type of mm-hmm. thing uh did a, did a lot of that on the east coast and then mm-hmm. uh went to California did some more training and really got into singing and singing for the the Save the Dolphins Foundation. Oh, wow. Did a okay. lot of that. Uh, uh-huh. Then it just kind of escalated to where I went back to Texas. Then I took acting more seriously, and I went into a conservatory for acting and then got my degree in that and got an, a really great agent. That's where Walker, Texas Ranger was. So it was pretty common for any actor there to land something in that show. And uh, I, I was lucky because I got to be um, 
I got to be in the back scenes mostly because I was the uh, stand-in person and I was the person that was riding in the car. If there was something going to be a chase scene, I was the double for a lot of people, mm -hmm. the main lead. So I got to be um, in there with them for quite a while. And that was fun. And then I, I ended up getting a, a to have a baby about that time. So it wasn't long where I, then I just started to, after that, I started to um, go ahead and work more with singing. Uh, and so then I just, that's when we moved back to, to when we moved to Arizona and I became, I put a band together and that's when we took off singing and created the Mercedes and um, Mercedes and the highway gypsy band. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the videos I'm recreating now we're from the Highway Gypsy Band. So I've been, I've made, I think, seven music videos oh, wow. this past. Yeah, I've just, I've created, re it's been a blast because I've been able to actually take the music that we used, that we sang uh, as we toured. And I couldn't make music videos then. But so what I've done is I, it's like it's been on hold for a, <laughs> ten, a decade or more. And, um, and oh, it's those like spirits, was, I'll tell you, those spirits, those demons, <sighs> what's going on with that? Well, I tell you what, it, I felt, I mean, to be honest, I'll be all happy here, but I, feel, I do feel like it was a curse on my family. My band broke up, my family. It was, a, it was really bad. And uh, so it's almost like my life has always been where you, you get going and then something knocks you off. You get going and something happens and knocks you off. You get going. So I've always felt in my heart that that was, you know, it was a curse on me for what happened. But what then ended up being uh, like we talked about in the last time, well, I was, uh, I went through a divorce and then I went into, uh, I, I ended up afterwards having these uh, two car accidents that almost killed me. And that's what changed my life. Mm -hmm. into and seriously they almost I almost died like I don't know how I lived and it, something happened and altered in my body I, it's like one of those things you you hear about you just can't even imagine but it did alter my body and so I ended up being able to go I started working for the doctor that was able to heal me and and so the work that I do or have been doing all these years has been with this doctor and it's been amazing. Uh, I was, I was able to hone and use my, the, as you mentioned, these, um, the, the energy work, the remote view healing. I didn't have that before. I was just a singer actress and loved that. I didn't have special gifts. I mean, maybe some intuition and things like that, but I never had like anything special gifts. Mm -hmm. I would, I would wake up in the, I would wake up, I could hear three songs going and I, those, I would have all the words or I could wake up and hear a whole instrumental orchestra thing with just what to do. And that to me was my gift. Wow. But see, that was what I, I would hear. I could hear like an angel singing in my head so I could just write that down and mm -hmm. know what it was. To say. So that was before, but so I guess what happened was something altered that. And that's when I became this um, cranial sacral remote healer that works on people and still and still to this day do work on people. And um, I, I started my own private practice since uh, Dr. Swidler retired. And um, that's part of what I'm here to talk about. But yeah, so it has been it's been a very interesting uh, road for me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And it's amazing, too. We'll talk about your private practice as well, too. And I'm glad you uh, mentioned that. Uh, you also uh, have some updates for the Sacred Land of Arizona series, Shadows of the Desert. And what's coming up? We'll find out just one minute with the amazing Mercedes Lucky Benedict. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking a budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, International Warring Author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target. 
where truth is illusion and those who love beauty first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Z has garnered great reviews. In Eve 11 and George by Howard Celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and Manales. So grab your copy today for Ghost Missing by Mia Molson Z, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com or 40 podcast platforms. Heard in 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Apple Music, iTunes, Google Play, Pandora, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Also on BitChute, Rumble, YouTube. And also, subscribe to us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Threads, and more. Make sure you take us with you on any mobile device. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, hot sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies. Makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com. Be sure to check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books like Missing, Once and Wrinkles, also T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. And support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Widener Show.com. We're here with the multi-talented entertainer known for her paranormal life, Mercedes Lucky Banks. It's here on the Mike Widener Show. And um, we talked last time about the Sacred Land Arizona series and Shadows of the Desert. And uh, give us an update on those and uh, what those are about. Well, the last time, and I just got to applaud you for how you do that. I love how you do all that, what you do. I guess I still have it after all these um, you still so got it. months or so or whatever. Oh, no, you're awesome. It's like amazing to, to, to listen and watch. So the last time I was on, I was just talking about starting the series. You know, I hadn't quite, I hadn't filmed it yet. And so we started filming and we have, we've, we've made two of them or I've made two of them, the family uh, works with me. So we have like a family team, but I made one. Uh, I just loved the mayor of our community so much after I, I did this first interview that I just took it and ran with it. And I created this thing and it was really about our land, the land all around, but it was about the perspective through the mayor of Marana's eyes. Mm -hmm. And so I call, you know, and it's, it's just, it's just such a great, um, it's just so great when you listen to somebody and how they grew up and in this place. And so that I took that and created the first one. Then the second one I created uh, from interviews between the mayor and uh, um, an archaeologist that is very, uh, you know, very big here, a really very well-known archaeologist. And so I took both of them and uh created part two and so that's where they're talking um you know just about the history of the land mm -hmm. and so that's you know part of this part of the series is is made or the series is because of what happened to us uh -huh. on the land our experiences mm -hmm. and so all of these years i've i've always been researching researching trying to find and uncover what happened on this land uh -huh. and so i had to find people that would talk and tell me and tell the audience, tell us the real truth, what happened on this land. And so the mayor and the archaeologist. So it's almost like, a, you know, I have these amazing people. And so that that was part two. And all of these can be found on my Vimeo and by YouTube. I wanted it so much to be on Amazon by no, was it Amazon? Yeah, Amazon Prime. But for some reason, I'm having difficulty, I think, because I've titled it documentary. So I'm, I'm trying to we're trying to find a different aspect of how to to go about um, trying to get it on Amazon or Hulu or any of that. So mm -hmm. we're, we're working on those final those next steps. You can always talk so to Jeff Bezos one, about it. He's got money to do so. <laughs> I know. I know. Really? So but you know what? It's I'm I mean, it's doing all this myself, creating all this and filming it and editing it. It's it's so it's so monumentally, you know, it just really takes your time and my F like it's my soul. Mm -hmm. Um, so then the the third one is the one I always had talked about before, Shadows of the Desert or Ghosts in the Dark. And and then I didn't realize I was gonna be actually creating a sacred land series. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of a been a big deal for me. And so um the because it is sacred land. And that's, to me, it's like that way we can encompass every single part of the story, why the story, what the story is about, why is all because of this land and the people. And so the shadows of the desert is literally um, the story about 
our paranormal experiences about other people's paranormal experiences. I've found many, many people through this time that have had the exact same experiences that we have had. Some of them will not, would not come on. So I'm just, I'm so thankful. I ended up finding people that would share the story because we, you know, people don't want to share. Sometimes they don't want to share the story, but I have found them and um, people that helped us. I have some of them coming on. I have the paranormal investigation team, uh, the Tucson ghost society who has literally uh, been helping us since 2021 and on. And uh, so all of the evidence that they have caught on, you know, it's there like voices and what they're doing. It, it, they said this place is so active. They it's still active. You know, it's, we there's still spirits everywhere but Mm -hmm. we had bill bean come in and help us and did three exorcisms three deliverance exorcisms you can call them either one i guess and in the year of 2021 there's three separate ones this week would be this week i mean like two days ago would have been a three-year period since he came oh wow and helped us the very last time so this is the three-year anniversary and I will say this before, three years ago, I thought I was going to die. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm, I am a different person. I'm the same person, but there were so many things I really thought I was, it was it. I was just, it was very hard. So when I wrote this song, which is another part of it, I, I called it Ghosts in the Dark. And so I wrote it on um, my piano. And most of the time I was depressed or upset because we were on lockdown here in the house on the property. Mm-hmm. In Marana, Arizona, we have property and we were all locked down and shut down here in this. We couldn't leave, you know, to like you like, you know, you couldn't leave. You couldn't really go anywhere. And so we had a lot of bad things that were going on at that time. And I wrote this song. It's really about looking at what is going on. Why am I so scared? What is happening? Who are these? I want to know. I want to know about the land. I want to know. It was all the questions are in the song. And when I finally got to do the song, I I was just really blown away to get the music that I love so much. I found this amazing way to make this music. And that's mm. to me what is so the new song, uh, Ghost in the Dark, came out I, I on my birthday, which was the 28th. Happy and birthday. I, Thank you. And I share that with the world. And uh, so far, you know, the people that have watched it and listened and taken the time to do that have loved it and have sent me wonderful messages of what the song means. And so to me, that that's that's the just the glory of it to me. You know, I just think that God is is just helping work through all of this to create it. So that's what the series is. And this this is a the Shadows of the Desert will be the part three of the series. And then from there, I'm going to continue on where there will be a complete um, thing, completely as, as one of the episodes on Bill Bean okay. and what his yeah, what he did out here and, and all about him. And then another one will be just about the paranormal investigation team. And then another one is going to be about. Um, there's, we ended up be, uh, we found out several years ago that we're, our land, if you look at it, look at it through a, from a geo map perspective, which I didn't know anything about that until, uh, we were working with a tourism guide here in our city at that time. So I think that was in 2000, uh, probably 2019 Uh as well, 2020. I, I met this lady that was helping us. And so she was looking at our property through a different type of investigation mind. And she said, right there, we are like, if you had a geo map, we, there's sacred um, tribal areas uh, that, that are encircle us. And so when you look at a map and you draw lines, we're dead in the middle of those. How do you like that? Isn't that, it's very interesting. So that, that is, that's something. So what I started to do is we started to use the, the tourism people and they would take us to these different locations. And we started filming back then. So um, one of them is just very close to us is a, um, is a silver bell mine. And that was an old 
mining town. It's still a mining town, but it like it's it was it's like a ghost town. Mm -hmm. So that's one of them. And then there's other different areas. So we'll go into each one of those in the series where we'll go to that and we'll create a series from that series episode mm. from that series. Uh -huh. And that sounds rather interesting as well, too. You also have a project that's uh, coming up as well, too. That's somewhat in the works. Maybe just give us a little, um, you know, piece to uh, what's happening, especially come up in 2023 and going into 2024. Yeah. Um, so I decided after um, I was just saying how my the doctor I worked for ret retired. Well, this year has been very strange for me because I haven't had that. And so I'm kind of like free to be me now. I don't know, like like I'm not <laughs> connected to the office. And so um, I kept getting uh, to try to understand what I what I should do. And so I one day I just heard you need to make a series on this with with clients and so i'm like okay <laughs> so how do you like in, that yeah like okay i have tried i mean i i had i always filmed when i was in the office not always because it was in the office but i would film a lot when i was work on people uh -huh. and i would share that during the day you know what i'm doing in the office today you know and um and all around the office I, i'd share that so it was kind of normal but you know, here, uh, number one, I didn't want people to come out to this land after because we we tried and tried and it never would work, and and then it was it was not good for people to come out here. So now that the land is is good again, it's happy and it's very healthy out here. Mm -hmm. Um, it it seems like it just went through, and I I put a little uh note on Facebook for who wants to come out here. I just want to film you. <laughs> And I was like, boom, the phone started ringing. <laughs> so, oh, you like that? Yeah. So people, so, um, you know, they, they have to, uh, you know, they have to make sure they don't mind being on TV or not TV, but on the video. Uh -huh. And so, yeah. So, so far, I, uh, in, in between everything else, I am trying to do that as well. So I filmed three people so far and, um, and so, so when I, hopefully I'll be done editing the shadows of the desert in a few weeks three weeks is my goal and then i'm going to start working on the new project which is it's going to be just really about a heal it's a healing project where i can help people show them the different techniques that i use that mm. that i teach people at home all the time I, I teach people how to take care and help heal themselves on certain levels that i can easily do and so that's what it's going to be about. And then it's also going to be about already. It's like, it's just my work and how I work with the body. So you see that. So a lot of people are, are like, what are you doing? Or you're, they're afraid or oh, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. But so, you know, but when it's so hard to explain it because most people in the world don't even know what cranial sacral therapy is. Mm -hmm. I've been over, I've been a new clinic right now, the Dove Mountain Chiropractic and Massage. And I work under a chiropractor. And I have my private practice and uh, I try to tell people what I do and what I've done. And most people, 90% of them have no clue. So that really motivated me to go ahead. And since I don't have the wings or the, you know, the doctor, like right there saying, well, this is what she does, you know, and 100% and uh -huh. support. So, yeah. So I decided to do this and that way we can share what it is I'm doing to help people. And that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe you can explain the fact about uh, what you do in case uh, somebody contacts you about um, your private practice, set up an appointment, everything else. Maybe you can tell everybody beforehand, you know, what you do, and then they'll, they'll know when to call you and feel comfortable. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a very good idea. So and another thing I, I do is I work with what it is. It's, it's called remote viewing, and that's one aspect of it. The remote viewing is I have to be in a, a, you know, I have to be for my safety's sake. I have to, you know, do my prayers. And I have to do the things that that put me in alignment. I don't have to do that. But you know, if I'm with a session and somebody I'm working on them, I do all my rules and I cover all the boundaries for that. But I can see if there's a fascia, if there's an area in their fascia, like say if they have a sprained arm, I, I can look at the arm and just I can see it. I can see mm -hmm. the patterns that's off. And so I can, I can adjust that. It's like slight manipulation, a slight uh, things like that. And so we work through that way. That's how I work. 
And so in the videos, you'll be able to see that um, very clearly what I'm doing. And I talk through through the whole thing. Another, uh, I'm trained and I am a cranial sacral therapist. And so, but I'm not just the regular cranial sacral therapist. There's several levels. So I'm, I was trained in osteopathy, cranial sacral, uh, as a cranial sacral therapist, where we are really working with every piece of the body. I even go into the teeth, the oh eyes, you know, goodness, the wow. ears, the mouth, uh, all of that. I am unwind teeth. I worked at a, a holistic dentist, a famous uh, holistic dentist place called Medicine Will Dental and Wellness. And we saw people from all over the world at this office. And it was an amazing thing to, 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 I don't know how I was just blessed, you know, so he saved my life. And I couldn't walk. And he, it was his therapy, this therapy that saved me and helped me to be able to walk. So I then became, began, began working for him and helping him. And then I, I became the therapist for all those years. So mm. that's so basically a cranial sacral therapy. If you go to a chiropractor, a chiropractor is going to you know do their adjustments. They do sharp, bumpy ones usually. This uh -huh. is not. This is about holding space like holding under the sacrum, holding under the middle of the back. And then you let the waves of the body run through. And then you sell, you slightly adjust and let the waves of the fascia run through. It unwinds the fascia. It frees oh. the pain up and it fixes everything. I, I couldn't walk. <laughs> I couldn't walk. I, I mean, like, and so I learned. So how, what I did was I then learned as I started heal, healing, I started to learn, well, how do I just do this? You know, I didn't, I couldn't rely on the doctor. I learned to work on myself at home. And so that is how, you know, there's a lot of people out here that can't go to the doctor. There's a lot of people out there that can't afford chiropractics three days a week. You know, so it's, it, I'm one of those people that can say to you, you don't have to do that. I mm -hmm. mean, it's personal choice or maybe what you need to do, but there are certain things you can do that can release this pain from you and or a session from me and it's just it's just amazing so i i do think that that was a true blessing to get that and so then there's people also that call me um i've worked with people all the way in japan all the way across our country um and they'll call me and they'll have problems or usually it's refer it like word of mouth and so I, I tell them, don't tell me anything about it. I don't want to know. And mm -hmm. so we get on the phone and I do, we do the, do my do, we do the protocol. And then I start going through the body and I have certain rules that I ask for people to do because there's certain things that you can do that will help alleviate. You can feel like a detox has happened when you, when you come to see me as a in person or over the phone, any type of energetic work, you can feel really ugh, like like it's a like you're going through a detox because it mm -hmm. comes out through the body so i have certain things i like to tell people to you know to do to take care of themselves one of the things that is really important for every one of us is epsom salt baths yes if that's interesting an, mm -hmm. yeah if you when you take an epsom salt bath that was one of the things that that was shocking to me because i didn't believe in any of this before, before mm -hmm. my accidents really. And I was so hurt and I was living with, I'd, I'd lost my house. I mean, I'd lost, I'd lost my, I had a beautiful rental house. I had, I'd lost that. I had no money to cause the accident. The doctor, before I started working for him, he told, he sent, he got me in with this lady that had a really beautiful house. And so she took us in and took me and my son in and, uh, she had this bathtub. And so she said, you need to go in there and get that Epsom salt bath. And I'm like, oh, whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so, <laughs> but I couldn't, I mean, like I, I was, I hadn't really been getting help from the doctor that by then. I don't think, I don't remember, just, but I was in so much pain that I literally crawled to this bathtub on the floor. My hands and knees dying in pain. And I got in the bathtub. I know it's crazy. It's, it's so crazy, but I, I hated sitting in the bathtub. Now I think of it as like a ritual. And I think of it as like how to heal myself. 
anyway, so I ended up being in that bathtub and I had put my head under the water and I just wait and waiting and waiting. And I, when, it, when I wanted to get up, I got up pain-free. Wow. Pain-free. I had no pain. And I wasn't even on medication or nothing. I wasn't, I don't drink, you know, <laughs> so mm -hmm. I had nothing. It was the Epsom salt. And so then I, I'm like, what in the world? So I made, uh, I, I started really checking on that. And what happened if I dunked my head under the water or if I didn't dunk my head under the water. And if I did not dunk my head under the water, I would still have pain. Oh, huh, interesting. But if you fill, if you put the whole water in your whole body in your, so now I understand it now. So it's actually, so we have all the centers, it's everywhere and our energy fields and our whole energy. A lot of people don't realize it because they'll sit in the bathtub and they'll have like this much up. So they have neck pain or and they're not getting it all filled. So when you, when you do the water in the essence clearly cleanses everything out and it takes the pain away. So all these years, I always tell my patients or my clients about that. And I always get the same thing. Yeah, it worked. So I definitely, I mean, that's, that's something amazing to me that like, when you, I don't know if you, you probably know pain. Mm -hmm. I know. We, pain. We, we, we've all been through it. So it's like any yeah. kind of accident, anything like that, or even like, you know, yeah. repetitive, everything. We completely understand it. Yeah. So when you know pain, you know, when it goes away and then, you know, so, yeah. So those are the type of things that I want to be able to share and bring out to people. And that's what this series will be. And it will be on YouTube and Vimeo for sure. I know mm -hmm. that. <laughs> uh -huh. and, and in the meantime, where can we find your private practice at and um, all your information, especially the private practice? Yeah. So um, you can go to my website, Mercedes Lucky Benedict.com. So that's M E R C E D E Z L U C K E B E N E D I C T.com. And on that website, you will find everything that I do basically there. Um, and it does have the place where I work. Uh, I have the place in. Uh, to, it's uh, well, it's in Marana, but it's like cusp, it's borders Tucson, uh -huh. so it's a really wonderful little practice there, a clinic. So I love to work for clinics because uh, I know I can work with real pain there. So, um, so that's where I work, and then I have the private practice here, which is, you know, like I said, we're starting that up again. But I have this cabin, you know, I have my cabin, and I have my table, and I have my piano. I have, and I have like everything. And in everything, this cabin. yeah. And, and also, yeah, I forgot, but, I forgot to ask one more question. Do you do uh, Zoom meetings or Zoom healings? Um, I don't. I don't do. I haven't yet done Zoom. The reason being is I like to just not have to see a person. Like right now, I'd be looking at you, but if I'm if I um if I'm just on the voice on the phone, it's it's like I have a really clear energy. Thing. so you know you know what i mean it's it's really interesting but you're not seeing anything it's all relying on the feelings and the senses okay. so i i don't do them because i want to make sure that i i don't i'm not like um what's the word i don't know i want to just be clear right you know? yeah that that's so understandable we just want to um yeah, I understand in case they ask about Zoom meetings and um, everything else. And of course, you know, we're here with Mercedes Lucky Benedict here on the Mike Widener Show. And it's great to have you back on. And of course, you know, feel free to keep keep in touch and um, everything else. And once again, what's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your works and um, just check out your services? Sure thing. Okay, so uh, MercedesLuckyBenedict.com is my website. You can also um, catch all or hear all my music on Apple and um, Amazon, Spotify, all of those. You can go and find Mercedes Lucky Benedict music. Um, and that's really awesome. So I've got the new song on there right now, which is Ghosts in the Dark. Um, you can also find me on Facebook. I'm starting an Instagram account right now. Um, I'm on Twitter. I, you know, I'm on all of those and please check out my, um, 
my podcast, which I absolutely love. I've done this over a year now with the Web Radio Network. Mm-hmm. And it's called the Mercedes Lucky Benedict Show. Uh-huh. And I just have incredible people that I love to be on and converse with. Um, this week on Monday, I have an incredible, he's an exorcist. He's been an exorcist for 43 years. He's like the wow. chief exorcist. And his name is just Archbishop Ronald um, oh God, in, in right. And in oh right. my okay. gosh. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. And I put out, I put a new thing on YouTube because I create all the videos I do. And so I put a promo out and boy, this man is, is something else. I can hardly wait to talk to him on Monday night. The show is always on at 7 PM mountain standard time, but that always changes because everybody else is different, mm-hmm. but it's on Monday nights always. And you can find that on uh Spreaker. It's, it streams live stream Spreaker, but you can find it like yours on all the other podcasts. And um, then I usually take a spinoff of that and put some of it onto my YouTube channel so people can see a little bit there and then go to the other one. But so far, it's been a really wonderful experience to be with this um, with on this radio show on this. And, and so amazing. It. And certainly amazing as well, too. And once again, Mercedes, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having it soon. Keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Live have you back. Wish all the best. And Mercedes, you definitely have a great future ahead of you. And you're welcome back anytime. Thank you. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show. Brought to you by international award-winning author Mia Mosinzia of Missing and powered by Sonic Web Studios. Be sure to join us again on over 40 podcast platforms. And of course, on the MikeWagnerShow.com, HamiltonRadio.net, and Diamonds FM. Don't forget to support our program with a generous donation at the MikeWagnerShow.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>